Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to change a text view text with a button. I have two ways of doing this. One way is that you click the button once and it changes the words once. The other way is you click this button and every time you click it, these words will change. In order to start, we got to set this up a little bit. First, we're going to need to check out our strings. We need two strings. We're going to need text to change, set it to, you know, whatever along these lines, something like this. And we're going to go to our layout folder in activity main or whatever it is called for you and go to text or just drag on these elements and as you can see we have button and text default values basically we set the ID as change text button and set the ID for the text view as text to chain we also set the string resources as we have referenced in the strings file and now we will get into the code to get this working for us we need to add a integer old value above the on create method but below the public class main activity somewhere in there then we got to add two method definitions we need change text view value randomly on button click i know that's really long but it's very descriptive you could change it to something other than that uh, and then we also need a change text once so let's check out the code for the change text value randomly on button click and basically in this method we declare a final string which is called many different strings and we set that equal to a whole bunch of strings about john's tutorials and how cool they are and how everybody loves them and we create a final text view which is changing text which is this right here and we basically just define which one we're using using the add ID text change, which remember we designated which one it is in the XML right here or here. Sorry about that. Change text button dot set on click listener. So basically we're taking this button and putting a listener onto it. So anytime the button is clicked, the action below will be carried out. So now we have a public void on click, basically referencing this. And we have this a little complicated, but we could simplify it a little bit. We could check out this if statement and this bottom and make it real simple. But by doing this, we make it so we don't get too many repetitive values. Basically what happens here is we get an integer that is a random and by to find that integer that is random we take however many strings there are times a random number and that returns a random integer and then here we set the text to a random number times this so basically whichever one of these or not times we set this to whichever number we get the number here so this is zero string one two three but sometimes it'll be the same number which is not okay. So to help alleviate that problem, we add this if and value statement here. This if statement says, if this random value that we found plus the old value, which is equal to the one we had before, is the same, then we're gonna just search for a new random number. And if the random number is not the same, then it just won't execute the statement at all. And then at the end of all this, we assign the old value to random. So that way, next time we run it, we'll still be using the old value. The other way, if you want to just, you know, click the button once and change the text once is to do the change text once and we're basically doing the same thing here but we take out a few lines that we don't need the if statement and all that i know this might look a little different than other tutorials about how uh, it's declared like this and then a whole other method is written if you don't want to do that you can just copy this code and paste it right up here in the uncreate method and delete this change text once or vice versa for any of these it's just more readable to do it like this. In order to have this work properly, we can only use one of these methods at a time. So we can only use the change text once or the change the text randomly on button click once. So if let's say we only want to change the text once, we can comment out this code, that way it will not run. Or if we want to change the value randomly, we can come out the comment out the change text once and that way it will not run that. Then we can click run and it'll build to our phone. And as you can see, when we click the change text, it'll change the text randomly. Now, not always will it be a different one, but 99% of the time, you can see there's just one. Before, when we excluded the if statement here, of course this is in my way, uh, it would be more frequently wrong displaying the same text over and over but that helps alleviate that. So there you go. Hope you learned how to change a string or change a text view on a button click. In the next video, we're gonna work on using multiple buttons in one activity.